Jigga Jones and this is Ghetto Garage. We got some pallets. Those pallets are going to become a chair in just a few minutes. And you're going to see me sitting in those chairs in just a bit celebrating my mastery of tools. I'm going to break this whole pallet down. And then uh, once we take the wood, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're gonna move to the next step. All right, here's what we got. We got two of these short pieces for your booty and these uh, long pieces for your back. Those are the chairs. And so, uh, since this is a pallet, this is one of the most beefiest pallets I've ever really uh, come up on. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, since they're not, you know, pallets, you normally don't have them straight. So, I'm gonna straighten up the edges so you have something nice and straight to put your booty on when we sit in our chair. Time to plug in the saw. Now, you notice, you know, I got this big old thing here for measuring and stuff like that, but uh, I'm not into no measuring and no, I don't need no ruler. I don't need nobody ruling over me. So, I'm gonna do this all by sight because I got the gift. <laughs> All right, well once again, safety equipment has proven to make my job more dangerous. This guard was coming down and wasn't letting me able to cut this wood. So now what do I had to do? Had to stick a piece of wood up in there to keep the guard up out of the way. So, once again, these people's safety equipment does nothing. Now put my fingers down near the blade. When I wasn't gonna do it before, now I had to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this to 19th. I wasn't gonna use a ruler, but I figured, you know, I got new people that never done this before. You may wanna see something here. So I'm just going to mark this off to 19 inches because that's about how big people's rear end is. If you have women over, they tend to be a little bit bigger, you know, especially in the ghetto. You know, they're always bigger. So you put anything bigger than uh, 19 inches, you're going to have fat people running to your house because they can kick it over there. And we ain't trying to start none of that. I don't care if you're fat, whatever it is, if you ain't coming over my house and eating up all my food, we ain't doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we cut all these down to 19. It's gonna be cool. We got some scrap wood, and that'll be the next project. I'll show you what you can do with the scrap wood that you didn't get to use. So the pallet is always useful. So yeah, uh, we're gonna route the ends of these. You know, we'll get on the router and route this, and then I'll show you how to make a nice soft edge when it's all done. But see, this is a big piece here. You wanna put this down towards where the leg's gonna go, you know, and or where your head's gonna go. So you don't want like a small one where your head's at, because then you got two of them squeaking and creaking. So I'm gonna bust these bad boys on the router. Be careful the nails. You know, because we're dealing with a pallet, you know, you're going to have some nails, so be careful. You get some stuff and knock them nails out, you know, if you did like I did with a, with a thing. So I'm going to put it on the router, router on the ends, and then I'm going to dust the whole thing make it all look good. All right, now, we're going to move on to my Sears and Roebuck air compressor. They don't make them like this anymore, boy, because... <clears throat> This is why Sears is almost out of business, because they make them so good, they last for 50 years, you ain't never got to buy another one. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is the, uh, the things we got sized up. This is actually going to be the seat back. I was thinking we was gonna, this is going to be where your booty sits, but I figured, you know, I'm going to have some larger people come over, and, you know, my relatives may want to stop by, and I'm not chipping on my relatives, y'all watching this, but uh, I'm going to put this on there like this. It's going to be cool. So what we can do is we're going to line this up, and it's all eyeball. This is ghetto garage. You know, this is, this is good enough for good people. You know, you ain't got to be special. You just got to get it up there. So we just line this up a little bit. And then we're going to put the, uh, I guess they call these planks, you know, and we're going to just plank them all the way down. So here we go. We're going to uh, get your nail gun out, get your thing ready to go. You know what, though? Since I'm going to have this a little time, I think I'm going to put some glue on here. You know, make some glue to make sure it's going to last. All right, now you always got a strip of glue. It's not much glue, just a little bit, just to hold it on there, you know. Because, you know, the nails, they just introduce the work to it. You know, the glue is what's doing the work up in here. We'll push this down real good. Like this, hold it on down. Drive me a couple up in here. Make sure you got enough of them in there to hold it up. Now you see that we got this on here. It looks good. You got the three sides that we routed on here. See the three sides? You can basically stick these, uh, the boards that's going to be for the bottom, you can stick them inside like this so that, uh, so that they'll match up. So, shipping. <laughs> so people would know you made this from a pallet. They'd be like, oh, okay. All right, they know what you're doing. You're up here upcycling up in here. All right, so you line these bad boys up. It ain't got to be perfect. This is Watts. 
You know, it's got to be good enough for you like that. All right, now, that piece that we did the three-sided route on is right here. And you're just going to eyeball it. It ain't got to be perfect. It ain't got to be perfect. It just got to be good. See, now you stick that on down there like that. Now I'm going to put me a little bit of glue on here. You know, because the glue's going to do the work anyway. So we get some glue up on this bad boy. You know, try not to use a, a whole lot of glue, but a little bit. You know, it, it ain't going to matter. It's going to sit outside anyway. You know, good. now we got it lined up like this here. I'm going to face the pop these bad boys. That's a generator outside running. The Sears and Roebuck. Uh, <laughs> Sears and Roebuck. Yep, that's what so, that is. You get these bad boys, you put them together. This is kind of what you want to find out that they fit inside like this. You see what I'm saying? See, these, these sit together like this. We'll put a bolt through here and we cool. So I'm figuring this is about where I want to be is on here like this. Okay, I'm going to put one more piece on it to make sure it does stay like this. I'm going to put another plank, one like this, in behind here. And this is just to keep your back end from becoming, uh, you know, dangerous. You falling up out the chair. I mean, you don't want to bust your head open, and you swear don't want your guests on your house to bust their head open. So people say, oh, this is nice. This little nail head there, that's rustic. It's rustic. Yeah, okay. It's free. It's a pallet. And it's cool. Now that we got our chair together, it's got a little bit of a gangster lean. That's how I know it's going to be one of mine. Got a little bit of lean to it. So we got our phenomenal Porter cable drill motor, high quality tool. And we got ourselves a little drill bit to put in there real quick. So we put it in here. We got to tighten the chuck. Now, when you get quality, quality tools, they have this thing called a chuck key. So you put the chuck key in there like this. You turn it, make sure it's on there tight. So you make sure it don't come back to bite you. See that? That's good. That's quality. You know, if you buy yourself a tool and ain't got a chuck key, I might get suspicious. a bolt up in here somewhere. Put the bolt up in here. Give it a little pound. If you look right here, you'll see it sticking out right now. All right, we put the bolts in this thing here. Now you'll set it down. And here go your chair. Sit camera. There we go. And this is your chair. Check it out. Now you may want to put some supports on the front here. You know, you may, if you may have somebody maybe kicking it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a I'm gonna put one like right here, you know, a little support, you know, just, just to be there. It ain't gotta be there, but there it is. There we go, supports and all. Check it out. We walk it tall. And this here is the pallet chair. I mean, it took a little time. You know, we're gonna let the glue dry, and then you're gonna see me sitting in this drinking some Thunderbird.